You do understand, do you not? That survival of the fittest does not mean those that go most often to the gym. Not physically fit. Picture me naked. I am where you live. A coral reef, a slimy pond, the stomach of a rhinoceros, it doesn't matter. I am environment and I am naked. My legs are this long, my buttocks protrude so, my waistline is thus. You, sir, are a pair of pants. I will now try you on. <laughs> no, you are no good. You ride up my groin, you are uncomfortable. It is not a good fit, I toss you aside. You, you are a pair of pants, and you, and you, you are all pants. You must think of species as pants, and you must think of the world as me. One of you will fit me best, and the others I will cast aside. And the one of you that fits me best, I will order 20 pairs. That is survival of the fittest. <laughs> ah. But I may change. Are you still picturing me naked? Good. I get fat. The pants that once fit me no longer fit. Damn it! Is there another pair of pants? One that will fit me better. Not you. Or you, how about you? Are you going to pinch my waistline? <laughs> you see, can you hear it? The engine of natural selection is revving up again. So now, you can understand that when I find myself out in the world, I thrive despite the conditions because I am a highly adjustable pair of pants. I am like sweats <laughs> or chinos, appropriate in many different situations, dockside parties, Bar mitzvahs, okay? You get it? Look, English is my second language, and even I could have told Charles Robert, no. Find a better word than fittest, you will be misunderstood. <laughs> Are you still picturing me naked? You may stop now if you wish. Or continue. <laughs> I leave it to you.